I will break down the important components of the physical examination for the headache patient. In general, most headache patients have relatively normal examinations. The whole body can contribute to headache in some patients, and this may be reflected in the vital signs. Vital signs are an important part of any physical examination. An abnormality in blood pressure, temperature, and heart rate can contribute to headaches. Blood pressure elevation may be indicative of ischemia or hemorrhage and stroke. Cerebral blood flow is proportionally linked to blood pressure. When the blood pressure fluctuates, the intracranial blood volume is altered, which can alter pressure and result in a headache. An elevated body temperature can be associated with systemic illness. For example, an infection like meningitis can produce a headache. Changes in heart rate and rhythm can also indicate various medical illnesses that may produce secondary headaches, such as atrial fibrillation with stroke. Tachycardia can be an indication of infection, other medical illness, or it could be a marker for severe pain from the headache itself. Auscultation of the heart may give clues to general health and the presence of vascular disease. Examination of the lungs can give clues about ventilation and uncover underlying infection. Auscultate the carotid arteries and the eyes for brewies. Palpate the temporal arteries for ropiness and to assess the pulse, which may be lost in temporal arteritis. The sinuses and muscles of the head and neck must be palpated to look for tender areas. Are there any tender points in the strap muscles or temporalis muscles? Are there any signs of trauma? Trigger points are discrete regions of a muscle that are firm to touch and produce discomfort when pressure is exerted on them. There is frequently a distal sensory sign associated with the trigger point when it is stimulated. Sometimes when active, it may provoke some distal symptom of pain or paresthesia. Look for tightness of the muscle with pain on palpation and paresthesia in a region associated with that trigger point. One should assess for active trigger points in the muscles of the neck and around the shoulders, including the rhomboids and trapezius. This search may lead the skilled examiner to extend the examination into the upper extremities and torsos. Charts of common trigger points are available outlining these regions. Check the range of motion of the cervical spine and stress the facets and ligaments. Do so by hyperextending the neck while the head is bent to each side. Nuchal rigidity may indicate meningeal irritation from blood or infection. Nuchal rigidity is demonstrated with the Brzezinski or Koenig signs. The Brzezinski sign is elicited by stretching the meninges when flexing the neck forward and pain is produced. The Koenig sign is elicited by extending the legs after the hips are flexed up and pain is thus produced. Palpate the thyroid gland for nodules and enlargements. Palpate the temporal mandibular joint during opening and closing. Is there a click? Does the mandible slide or translocate? Does the jaw open widely? In the next Med Mastery lesson, we'll cover the neurologic examination for the headache patient. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how Med Mastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About Med Mastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.